how do you deal with those shamers on Instagram? Because I know they recently came after you, oh, yeah. after <laughs> you you flipped the baby. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, like you said, you have to do what's best for mm -hmm. you, and you're having fun with your daughter. Were mm -hmm. you surprised by that reaction? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I wasn't surprised just because we get shamers every single day. Every mm -hmm. single every single person on social media has haters and negative feedback, and I've learned how to like thicken my skin to where it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. But when it, when they come after my kid and start questioning, I don't know, how did I say this to someone the other day? Because they asked me why I felt so threatened by their comments. And I said, it's the first time I felt like they were threatening my love for my child. Because mm -hmm. they had said that they were worried about the, um, their concern for their health and well-being. Right. And I was like, I love my child more than anything in the yeah. world. And I felt like they were questioning that. And I snapped back and was like, every mom, mom's differently, mm -hmm. and I love my kid and I wouldn't do anything to put him in right. harm's way. Right, you never so. threaten their safety no. or anything like no. that. You're doing what's yeah. best, and it, it's just a little flip. I know, she was perfectly fine. <laughs> she was, she was perfectly, perfectly fine. fine. But yeah. they came after you for like dancing with your baby too. Oh, yeah. Like It's just like everything, you can't do anything right. Oh, and then I didn't have socks on the baby at the beach, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I'll make sure she's in a parka next time. <laughs> right, yeah. um, it's everything, it's there's, everything. there's something in every scenario, but I also think that we as moms are so passionate about our kids mm -hmm. that sometimes we attack other moms because whatever's worked for us is kind of like our Bible. Sure, and yeah. We almost preach it on other people, which you can't do. Yeah. Since everybody's different. Do you kind of tune it out now, or do you not even read the comments anymore? Um, I'm trying not trying to. Trying not to. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame you. I mean, it, it is a pain because every time we post something, I feel like I have to think of what are people gonna say about this, mm -hmm. but to a certain extent, we're just trying to live your life. Yeah, yeah, totally. How are you dealing with the mom guilt? Uh, oh my gosh, um, it's consuming. Yeah. Because, again, I, I don't know how to like articulate it well enough, but I feel like as a mom, every single decision you make, you feel like is impacting their future mm -hmm. and setting them up for life or tearing them down. And that guilt can really take over take sometimes. Over. Yeah. But I try to just trust my instinct mm -hmm. and trust my husband's instinct and ask questions for, you know, with doctors and nurses and friends whenever we can. Mm -hmm. But it's, you have to fight it every Definitely. day. Have you had like one of those mommy meltdowns? Oh, you're just yeah. like in the, in the shower just crying? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think my husband actually has video footage of me like just bawling because I think it had to do with feeding. Mm -hmm. I, I remember the first time trying to decide like, okay, I'm gonna give her formula. And I just melted down yeah. because every, all the shamers on Instagram mm -hmm. were like, you're ruining her future, whatever. Um, and it, it was hard. I just, I didn't know, you don't know what's right and wrong as a mom. Yes, and mm -hmm. I just felt overwhelmed. Yeah.